Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance on the Terra ecosystem. Today I'm just going to make a quick video about refracting Luna on the Prism testnet. Just looking at the Prism Twitter feed, we can see that the training ground for refracting our Luna on testnet is now available. So there's a bit of a thread here which you can read through. But essentially, to do this, what I'm going to do is go to the site. And there's the warning here that we want to be using testnet. So to do that, I'm going to come up to my Terra Station extension and then just click this little gear thing and then choose testnet. Right, so that should make it clear I'm now using the testnet. So when I connect my wallet, I'm going to have a load more Luna than I actually have. Just going to double check what I've got. Right, so unfortunately this is not a real balance. These are just my testnet tokens. Now, if you're wanting to try this out and you didn't have any tokens, you can actually go following the prism thread down to this site here, Fawcett, and that should then allow you to get some Luna and or UST. I think for this, all I need is Luna. To be honest, I've not actually used this yet, so this is kind of a live test for me. You can see the prices are not accurate. Right, so I'm just gonna go into Refract and see what happens. Right, so what I want to do is split some Luna into P Luna and Y Luna. I'm going to go for 100 tokens. This looks pretty exciting. Very first refraction of my life. Wow, this looks really nice. I love the graphical representation of refraction. I'm going to add them to my wallet. Yeah, it, the feel of the site is very Terra, so I'm loving it already. Um, let's have a little look, let's see if it shows the tokens here. I don't think it will, nope. Um, go to swap and see if I can see that I've actually got them. Right, so I'm just gonna get rid of this just now. I'm gonna change this to P Luna. Right, so yeah, I've got 100 P Luna, 100 Y Luna. So what can I do with this? Now this page looks really cool. So I can stake my Y Luna and then my staking rewards are gonna be converted into P and Y Luna, as well as my airdrops. And then I'll be able to claim them when they start accruing. I am gonna just stake my all my Y Luna What I'm also going to do is have a look at which pools I can go into. Right, so all seven LPs are available. So everything against Prism. So I've staked my Y Luna. I'm not going to LP that. Personally, when it, when it goes live, I'm not going to be LPing Y Luna because I want my staking rewards. So I will definitely be staking my Y Luna. But just for a bit of fun, I'm going to go in and... Oh, I need to get some Prism, actually. Yeah, so I'm going to go and enter this LP, the P Luna Prism LP. So if I go in here, I get a little bit of Prism. Okay, so Prism's certainly going up in price since the last time I checked. Right, so I'm going to swap that. And then once that transaction goes through, I should be able to enter the pool. It will be really interesting to see how much liquidity these pools have in the live system. Right, so Prism and P Luna. So I should have about 77p 
P Luna left. I'm just going to have a little look. Yep, so that's there. That all looks good. Nothing seems to have broken so far, so this looks really promising. Love the look of this dashboard. Oh, and this looks like it's the limit order section, possibly. Right, so this part is similar to what's live already. There's the pools that we have. I just I love this refracting page. I can't imagine I'll be merging or redeeming for a while. So yeah, I really enjoyed that whole procedure of splitting Luna into P and Y Luna. In fact, I enjoyed it so much, I'm going to do another 100. That's the bit I love the most, seeing this. Okay, I wonder, nope, that link's not live. Right, chuck them in my wallet. I wonder what happens if I don't add, click add to wallet. That would be kind of interesting to find out if they just disappear into the ether. If you're interested in using Prism, then I'd recommend having a little play with this test version. So the important point that I really wanted to demonstrate in this video, I mean, you'll be able to just play with this yourself, but was just if you've never used testnet before, it's just remembering to go in to your TerraStation extension and then changing which network you are using. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. And if you've got any questions, comments or criticisms, please leave them down below. Thanks.